Let's try one question on equivalence relation. Is given a is equal to one, two, three, four, five, and r is equal to set of order pairs a, b such that a plus b is even. R is a relation on set A. Show that R is an equivalence relation. Now, R is a relation on set A means is A cross A. R is a relation on set A cross A. We know how to write A cross A. Then we'll pick up all those order pairs A, B, so that A plus B should be. E1. The sum of the first element and the second element should be E1. Then after selecting R from A cross A, we have to show R is an equivalence relation. What is an equivalence relation? R is said to be an equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. So to prove all that, let's start. First step is write A cross A. A cross A, we will write all those order pairs with A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So first will be 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. Then take the second element 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. 2, 4, 2, 5. Then 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5. Next is 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5. 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5. So this is A cross A. We have to select all those order pairs from A cross A when A plus B is even. The sum, this is A and this is B. The sum should be even number. Let's change the color to circle those order pairs. I select Now, can we say 1 and 1, A plus B is even? Check, yes. We can take 1 and 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, is even. What about 1, 2? 1 plus 2 is odd. So, we cannot take this. 1, 3. 1 plus 3 is even. So, we can take this one. 1, 3. Now similarly 1 4 will not come 1 5 2 1 is odd 2 2 even so 2 2 next 2 4 3 1 3 3 3 5 because the sum is 8 so we can take 3 5 4 2 4 4 5, 1, 5, 3, 5, 5. Now this is R. A cross A is not necessary to write. You can think in your mind but you must write what is R here. R is a relation. So you must write down what are the elements of R. Now, we have to show R is an equivalence relation. So, we we'll start with the first property. First is, we will check reflexive. Is R reflexive or not? Now, what is reflexive property? That A, A belongs to all R for all A in A. See, this is the property. A, A belongs to R for all A in set A. 
Now, in set A, the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See, what is A? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, check. Do we have all A, A? 1, 1. Correct. Is there 2, 2? Then, 3, 3. 4, 4. Correct. And 5, 5. All belongs to R. There is no element left in A. In which A, A does not belong to R. See, all are there. Therefore, we say R is reflexive. What is the next property? Symmetric. Symmetric. What is symmetric property? If AB belongs to R, then B should also belongs to R. So we have to look for all pairs AB. A and B, A and B, B is different from A. So which are the order pairs? First we will see here in R. 1, 3 belongs to R. Then look for 3, 1. Do we have 3, 1? Yes, we can see 3, 1 is also there. So we will say 3, 1 also belongs to R. Similarly, look for another pair. 1, 5 and 5, 1. 1, 5 belongs to R. Also, 5, 1 belongs to R. Similarly, you have to see any other A, B. 2, 4. Then, 4, 2 is there. Any other? 3, 5, 2, 4 and 3, 5, 2, 4, we have seen 2, 4 belongs to R and also 4, 2 belongs to R. What about 3, 5? 3, 5 belongs to R. Let's look for 5, 3. Is it there? Did you see? Let's check once again. 3, 5 is here. What about 5, 3? Yes, 5, 3 is also there. So, 5, 3 also belongs to Therefore, we can say R is symmetry. Now, the third property is transitive. Let's check for transitive. What is transitive property? If AB and BC, BC, this is C belongs to R then the first and the last AC should also belong to R. Now we have to look for AB and BC. Look for those pairs in R. Let's go back. AB and BC. Oh sorry. It's gone down. This is A cross. So we have to see in R. I'll change the color. Let's use some other colors. This. Okay. A, B. This is A, B. Correct. Now next we have to look for B, C. Starting with 3. A, B. This is also there. B, C, 3, 1. So what should we have? 1, 3 and 3, 1 belongs to R. We see 1, 1 is also in R. So let's write down. We see 1, 3 and 3, 5 belongs to R. 
this gives us uh, we have seen 1, 3, 3, 5. We can see 1, 5 also belongs to R. 